Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk about this topic, which is Japanese resellers buying luxury items on eBay, buying luxury items from Japanese sellers, that sort of thing for a while. I've briefly talked about it on my channel before as far as sellers that I trust, sellers that I've purchased from, and all of that good stuff. I wasn't specifically talking about Japanese luxury resellers. I was talking about consigned luxury items as a whole. I was talking about Canadian consignment shops that I love and Japanese consignment shops, which I love. In this video in particular, I'm going to only be speaking about Japanese resellers and the luxury market in Japan. So if you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click the subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this video. By the way, do you guys like my shirt? I found this and I've had this ever since like junior high school. It is by the brand French Connection. It doesn't say what you think it says when you look at it. This is actually, this is actually the brand name. Also, I am doing a video on authenticating my Louis Vuitton item that I recently just purchased on eBay in a separate video. If that one's up already, I'll leave it in the pinned comment below. If not, that video is coming up really shortly. So let's talk about the Japanese reselling market on eBay. Let's talk about that because I saw an Instagram post the other day because I follow a lot of luxury consignment shops that are based in Canada. There was one in particular, I think it's based in the US. They posted this photo saying that 90% of luxury items that you're buying on eBay are fake. And I feel like that number is a lot of off like I feel like that number is a lot of off because there is so many luxury resellers on eBay from Japan that have really high ratings that are super sellers that have been around for years and that for the most part they actually have freestanding stores in Tokyo and around Japan which is a really great sign because selling fake luxury goods is illegal in Japan, just like it is illegal to sell fake luxury items here in Canada. So you can't just open up a shop here in Canada and sell fake luxury items. Like you can't do that. That's against the law, that's illegal. And that law applies to Japan too, even more so that each of these consignment companies require them to have a license number. So if they sell any fake items, their license gets taken away they get a big fine it's a big huge deal to sell fake items in Japan also they just have a huge huge luxury market they have a huge customer base not only people that live in Japan but outside of Japan that want their goods so with that being said yes you can trust these Japanese resellers on eBay. Make sure you guys are reading reviews as well. If you guys stumble upon a company that's maybe just starting up or doesn't have any reviews at all, then maybe be a little bit wary of those ones. But for the most part, a lot of sellers that I found, Midoriya, Brand Off Japan, Rebag, and other ones all have really high ratings. They also, like I said, like I mentioned, have free standing stores in Tokyo if you would like to visit. I know with COVID right now, we can't really fly anywhere. I'm sure there's certain countries out there that don't have any travel restrictions, but Canada specifically, we can't travel to Japan right now. So you can actually visit these places if you would like. And like I said, they all have their own shops. So I purchased a few items over the years and I've had nothing but great experiences with purchasing from Japan. So I'm gonna show you guys some examples of stuff that I did purchase. So my first item here that I'm gonna be showing you guys is my first purchase from a Japanese reseller. And this is my Louis Vuitton Luminous PM. And I purchased this from 
brand off Tokyo. I remember because this was my very first purchase, I was very skeptical, just like I'm sure a lot of you are, and that's why you're watching this video so you guys know the tea and if it's real or if it's fake. So around the time that I was purchasing this bag, I definitely was a little bit skeptical of stuff on eBay and you know buying fake and everything like that. So I definitely started to do my research and I researched brand off Tokyo. I researched the whole brand and everything about it was legit. All of the reviews were really good. So I went ahead and got this bag. I think I picked this up back in 2016. So it does have some wear on it now. This is for me. This isn't, it wasn't like this when I purchased it, but I take this bag traveling with me all the time. So it's been everywhere. This one's been to Toronto, Montreal, Turks and Caicos. This one's been everywhere. So it does have some wear on the handle, but I can definitely take it to LV at some point if it's bothering me that much and I can repair it. But this one came out in really good condition and this was a $4,000 bag originally. And I think I paid around 1,600 for it back in 2016. So this was just a dream bag of mine and I really, really wanted it. I was never just going to be able to drop 4k on this bag at that point in time so this is what this one looks like it is in the emprunt leather it is absolutely beautiful i'm not going to be reviewing every single bag that i'm going to be showing you guys today but i just wanted to mention that this was the first one that i purchased and it just is very special to me and yeah it's going to be in my collection forever and i definitely want more of the luminous pms it's just one of my favorite bag styles so that was my first purchase had a really great experience and then i decided to go and get some of the slgs aka small leather goods so this one in particular right now i'm not gonna really open up too much because these are where my house keys and stuff are so this is the four key clay and I just really wanted something in the um, multicolor monogram leather. So this is what this one looks like. It does have some wear on the uh, clasp, I guess. So that is what this one looks like. And then it is a lavender on the inside, which is my favorite color. So I got this on an auction from one of those Japanese resellers and it was like $120. For this it didn't come with a dust bag or anything like that but you don't really need a dust bag especially if it's gonna be something that you use every day and this is definitely something that I use every day because my keys are in it I've also had this for I think three years now three or four years and I've honestly I honestly can't see any more wear on it than it had when I first purchased it so this one is from I think 2010 or 2012 is the date code on this one so I also authenticate my own bags when I do get them in the mail just to make sure they're legit and all of that stuff and I recommend you guys do the same do your research based on date codes and where things are made and that kind of thing beforehand so this particular design is discontinued so the multicolor monogram is discontinued. I wanted this wallet for the longest time. So I found it from a Japanese seller as well. And what I like about this the most is the inside, of course, it is lavender. This one right here just didn't have really any wear to it at all. It came with the dust bag. This was another great purchase and it makes me happy every time I open it because it is my favorite color. Next thing that I ended up picking up, this one is another discontinued piece. So what you guys are going to notice a lot, if you guys are looking for a specific designer item that has been discontinued, you will likely find it from someone in Japan. If you guys are looking for something in particular, just keep your eyes out for it so this next one is a balenciaga bag this one has um a little bit more wear to it than i would like i don't know if you guys can see that should pick it up on camera but balenciaga bags are kind of notorious for that like you really really have to condition the leather and stuff I, I really do need to buy some leather conditioner for this bag and see if i can restore it if not a little bit but also balenciaga bags oh they smell so amazing they just no matter how old it is, it's just it's gonna smell really good. This one is from 2013 as well, which is weird because most of this stuff is from 2012, 2013 era. That's, I guess, when I really like certain colors and styles and stuff. So this is the Balenciaga Town. 
I don't remember which seller I purchased this one from. And then of course my most recent purchase, which I did a video on unboxing as well as I authenticated this one on camera as well for you guys to give you guys some advice when it comes to purchasing pre-loved items online to authenticate them yourself. And this is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB in Vernie leather and it's in the color rose velour. So I was looking for this color for a really long time. It is a discontinued color. So it was kind of hard to find, but you can definitely find a lot of these Louis Vuitton Vernie leather bags on there as well. And I got this one from Midoriya. Midoriya has been around since 1973 and they do have a couple of freestanding stores in Japan that sell Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Hermes. So yeah, I will leave you guys some links for some sellers in the pinned comment below if you guys want you know, my experience on them. I had a great experience on all of these items and basically just make sure you do your research. Don't buy anything sketchy. Don't buy anything weird. Those auctions that happen from Japanese resellers and stuff is like 30 cents and then people bid on it even more and then it goes up. Those are not that sketchy to be honest with you. You just have to look out on if you are willing to not spend as much and go to the auctions first and start off with something small. That is an option too. If you guys are looking into Japanese resellers, start with something small first, maybe like a wallet or something like that and if you are lucky enough to find one of those auction pages you can definitely get a good deal on something it just you know it might be missing the dust bag it might be hardware or something might be cracked or something but you can definitely get great deals out there and don't be afraid to try purchasing something from a Japanese reseller because yes their items are legit and there's multiple videos here on YouTube that show even the inside of the store how they take pictures of their items how they authenticate their items so there's definitely a lot of resources out there for you if you are interested in purchasing from them and don't be too sketched out purchasing something from japan i know that a lot of asian countries get really bad reps when it comes to designer luxury items because everyone just thinks they're fake but honestly there is a really big market for luxury items in places like japan like people really take pride in owning the real Louis Vuitton bag and all of that good stuff. So yeah, that is pretty much it for my video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.